All right, in this video, I'm going to do another example involving direct proportion. So again, if we say y varies directly as x, we can write that as y equals kx. So in this problem, uh, the way simple interest works on a bank account is it varies directly as the amount of principal in the account. So I'm going to use i for the interest and maybe p for the principal. So it says the interest varies directly um, as the amount of principal. So we can write that statement as i equals k times p. They tell us a little bit of information here. They tell us if $1,400 earns 84 in interest, we want to know how much money a 5000 uh if you had $5,000 in the bank, how much would that earn in interest? So okay, the first thing we're going to do is solve for K. So they tell me that, um, so the interest is $84. I'm going to plug that on the left. K is what we're trying to solve for. And that was on an initial principle of 1400 So to solve for K, I'll divide both sides by 1400 and you know this is one I think I'm just uh, gonna go ahead and use a calculator on it so 84 divided by 1400 I'm getting that to be 0.06 so it really says you're earning 6% um, in, in regards to simple interest but okay um, so really it says the equation we should be using it says I equals K which is 0.06 times the principal so okay, well, to answer the question is, to figure out the interest, we'll just simply take 0.06 and multiply that by the new principal, which is 5,000. And 0.06 times 5,000 uh, should simply just be 300, which it is. So it says, if you're earning obviously the same amount of interest, simple interest, it says, whereas $1,400 would make you $84 in interest, this tells us that uh, if you put $5,000 in the bank, you're going to earn, uh, under this scenario, $300 in interest.